Hey, happy Thursday to you. Hope you're having a fabulous Thursday so far. Our word of the day comes from Genesis chapter 35, verses 1 through 15. I'm going to encourage you to get your Bible and read through that passage and then maybe re-listen to this word of the day. Today's reading and meditation is a reminder of how desperately we need God's cleansing in our lives. You see, Jacob had fled for his life. Why? Because he was in fear that his brother Esau still wanted to take revenge for Jacob stealing his birthright. Now, I don't know about you. Sometimes holding on to a grudge, we see somebody, we're reminded, the anger builds up in us. But you know what? God is telling us here, Jacob was commanded to rise and go to Bethel. Now, what's unusual or what's fantastic about Bethel? This is the place where God had confirmed the Abrahamic covenant to Jacob. So he took him back home. But here were some things that were going on. With confirmation comes cleansing. In other words, he was no longer going to allow idols. God was not going to allow idols. He wasn't going to allow figurines. He wasn't going to allow amulets or charms, Celtic occultic charms in their lives. He desired a cleansing and a renewing of what was going on in the entire nation because he wanted to do something mighty for them. Is there anything right now, possibly, in your life that you're using as a substitute for the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit? I know sometimes maybe there are some things we may use um, monetary possessions. We may even use our esteem, our position, even our titles sometimes. But here, God was reminding Jacob, Jacob, I need you to clean house. I need you to look after God's house for me and God's nation for me. The God we serve cleans us up on the inside. He asks us sometimes to clean ourselves up on the outside, and he declared life change. God had his people do away with the idols, had his people do away with anything that would interfere or appear unclean. Matter of fact, he even told them to get rid of their clothes, clean their clothes, clean their bodies. We're cleaning up the outside while we're allowing the Holy Spirit to clean up the inside. As an acknowledgement of the change in Jacob's life, God gave him the name Israel. Wow, what a change. This was a reminder that future generations would come and they would be royalty through the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name had been changed to Israel, now known that way. We are renewed when we surrender our lives to Christ. And so like Israel now, not Jacob, Israel, I'm going to challenge each of us to look and make sure that we've not become idolatrous and put our focus on things other than God. What a challenge in life. It is impossible to follow Christ and stay the same. God's constantly asking us to change. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Have a great day meeting the challenges of this day as you honor God with your entire life, your words, your attitude, and your possessions. God bless you. Hopefully your name will be renewed today and your strength is renewed today. Will you pray with me? Father, thanks for renewing our strength. Thanks for reminding us that you changed a whole nation's name, Father, through their father. Jacob to Israel as a reminder of your royalty, of our position. Father, we are now your children, which makes us children of the King. Thank you so much that not only do you clean us up on the inside, you ask us to participate in cleaning up the outside. Thank you, Father, for renaming us as your children. In Christ's name, amen. Hey, hope the rest of your Thursday is fantastic.